Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining. Uh, this is Tom's Rivers University's presentation. My name is Margo. I'm a student recruiter advisor for Tom's Rivers University, and I will be presenting to you today. So I'm just going to stop my video so that it doesn't interfere. Um, I can see that there's already some questions coming in. I'm going to answer them at the end, if that's okay with everyone. Um, so I am going to present, should take about half an hour, um, and then I'll get to your questions. Okay, so welcome again. Thank you for joining me again. In and I'm a student recruiter advisor for Thompson Rivers University. I'd like to start out with a land acknowledgement. So Thompson Rivers University campuses are on the traditional and unceded lands of the Tecumlubs to Shkwetmik and the Teklek within Shkwetmik Ulu. Um, and we're just honored to live, work and play on this land. So a little bit of a backstory. This is me in grade 12. Um, I think some of you are probably kind of in grade 12 or recently graduated and just starting to think about your post-secondary journey and what you'd like to do once you graduate or if you're already graduated and kind of thinking, what do I do now? <laughs> um, so when I was in grade 12, as you might be able to tell from this picture, I was a little bit more into sports and less interested in what I was going to do after um, and what education I was going to get. So I was actually going to take a year off. I was thinking that I would probably work for a year and then maybe think about university then because I didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, but I realized, you know, at working at Starbucks for another year probably isn't going to help me figure out what I want to do with my life. Um, so I applied to Thompson Rivers University. I got into the Bachelor of Business Administration, and I have been doing that ever since. Um, recently graduated, and I'm very excited to tell you about my experience at Thompson Rivers University and answer your questions at the end of the presentation as well. So to introduce you to Thompson Rivers University, I'm going to give you kind of my top 10 favorite things about TRU um, and why I chose TRU. They're not going to be in any specific order. Um, I don't want to fight with anyone about the order that I put things in. <laughs> Everyone's order is going to be different. Um, these are just the things I love about TRU. So number 10 is the TRU campus, um, which is beautiful. You can see in this picture, it's kind of like a park-like setting. Um, lots of green, lots of things to do outdoors, um, and it's in Kamloops. So if you haven't been to Kamloops before, we're in British Columbia, kind of southern, um, right in the middle there, you can see on the map. We're named after the north and south Thompson Rivers um, that merge in Kamloops. So to Kamloops means the meeting of the rivers, a meeting of the waters in Chiquet Machine, um, and that's where we get the name Kamloops. So we've got these two beautiful rivers merging in the middle of town. Um, there's a beautiful path that I like to run along along the rivers and float down in the summer. It's really gorgeous. So if you haven't been to Kamloops, it is a really nice place, lots of sunshine. But to give you a better idea of what Kamloops is like, I have this video to share so you can kind of get an idea. So as you can probably tell from that video, there's lots to do outdoors. Um, and that's the beautiful city that Thompson Rivers University is located in. And we bring lots of that beautiful outdoors onto our campus as well. 
Um, but not only outside is beautiful, we have some beautiful learning spaces inside. You can see in these pictures, we have lots of light. Um, yeah, it's very nice park-like setting, like I said. Um, and there's lots of opportunities for hands-on learning at TRU as well. Um, as far as campus life, we also have tons to offer. We've got tons of activities, um, not so much this year because of COVID, but normally we do have like a back to school barbecue where there's a free barbecue for students in the first week of school. Our orientation, uh, we have a campus movie night every year where we bring out food trucks to feed us and we play one of the new movies that are in theaters right now, right on campus outside. And we've got tons of cultural events that we also participate in and host at TRU to uh, kind of celebrate all of the different cultures that come and stay with our campus. So I'll get into that a little bit more later on in the presentation as well. For now, living in Kamloops, uh, if you're coming to TRU, we have three beautiful residences. Um, we have two on-campus residence options. One is more like a hotel style. It's called the North Tower. And you go up an elevator to your common space, which leads to your bedroom. And then our McGill housing is more motel style, where you have a direct outdoor entrance to your room. But, and then our off-campus residence is similar. I'll show you a video that kind of gives you an idea of what those are like as well. So this is where I live. My roommate lives right there. And this is mine, so I'll show you mine. When you walk in, you have obviously a big bed that's like a queen, a queen size of us. And you've got your closet, which is right here. And the best part is waking up to this. I literally wake up every morning to take photos and never get to work. Oh, hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Come on in. This is how uh, my guild room uh, looks like. So this is my little home, my bed, my couch. It's my couch, so, you know, works good for watching my television, which I did bring from home, FYI. Hi, good morning. Oh, hey, how's it going? Come in. So welcome to our apartment. This is what a four bedroom quad looks like after the renovation. So these are my roommate's rooms. They're not here right now. They have classes. So this is our common space. Uh, this is the dining table where all of our, like my roommates and I, we sit and have lunch, dinner, sometimes breakfast. My room kind of reflects my personality. This is a study table. This is where I spend most of my time because I'm a responsible student. The last one you saw is our off-campus residence. That's only about a five minute walk from campus. So it's really not far. You don't need to take a bus to campus or anything um, from there. It's quite quick. Um, and that was all in Kamloops. So now I just wanna briefly introduce our Williams Lake campus which is about three hours north of Kamloops. So it's a little bit northern. It is a smaller campus. Um, we don't offer quite as much there, but we have some really cool kind of more niche programs. Um, an example of that would be our applied sustainable ranching for students that um, love animals and agriculture and uh, working on a ranch outdoors. Um, you can get into nursing there. Um, both our Bachelor of Science in Nursing can start there, or you can do practical nursing. Um, tons of trades that we offer there. Some are really cool and unique, so I definitely recommend you check that out if you're interested in trades. Um, yeah, we have a really beautiful campus there as well, and we also have an Indigenous gathering place at that campus as well as in Kamloops, and we'll get into that more later as well. But we like to have a home away from home for our Indigenous students um, no matter which campus they're on.
which leads me to our next favorite thing um, is the flexible education pathways. So you can start out in Williams Lake and you can move to Kamloops. Um, there's lots of flexibility on how you want to start your education, how you want to finish it. Um, and at tier, we, tier U, we believe that everyone has the right to live up to their potential. Um, so if you want to get into a competitive program, but you don't quite have the grades, um, we can start you out elsewhere and help you work towards where you want to end up. Um, so we've got more than 140 programs and some of them even ladder into each other, which I'll talk about. But, you know, some examples are we've got tons of trades, like I mentioned, because we did start out as the Caribou College and then the University College of the Caribou before we became Tom Rivers University. So we still have lots of trades from our college days. Um, but most recently, we also got a law school. In 2011, we got a brand new law school. Um, we built on top of our main building here. And then we've got, you know, what you think about business, science, our health sciences like nursing. Um, we have two education degrees and education diplomas for early childhood education. Um, whatever you can think about, we hope that we can offer it to you. Um, and so these are some of the different ways to get in. Like I was mentioning about a competitive admission, you can start a non-competitive program. So number one there is non-competitive admission. Basically, that means as long as you meet the admission requirements for that program, you will gain entry. Um, there's an unlimited number of seats for students who meet the requirements. Um, so that's our Bachelor of Arts, business, science, computing science, and fine arts. Uh, the next kind of admission is limited admission. So basically that's first come first serve for those that meet the requirements. Uh, so if there is say 80 seats or 50 seats in a program, the first 50 people that apply and meet the requirements will fill those seats. So if there's a seat to fill and you meet the requirements, you can get that seat. Competitive admission is a bit different. Um, so basically, they take the pool of applicants after the deadline, and they choose the most competitive applicants to fill the seats. So it's not first come, first serve. It is the most competitive applicants who have the best applications. And so say, if you're looking to get into nursing, which is competitive admission, but you don't quite have the grades or you're missing some of the prerequisites, we can start you out in a non-competitive program. You can upgrade in that program to meet the admission requirements for nursing, and then you can apply again to nursing the next year. So even if you don't meet the admission requirements for our non-competitive programs, you can upgrade your high school courses within those programs to meet the requirements. So no matter who you are or where you come from and what your high school grades were like, we're gonna help you get there. We can start you out, you can upgrade with us, upgrade your high school courses um, and get you to where you want to be. A little bit about our programs. Um, certificates are typically one year. Diplomas are typically two years. Um, and then your degrees are four years, typically. There's always a little bit of variety, um, but they can also ladder into each other. So an example I like to use is um, our adventure guide certificate is one year, and then it ladders right into the second year of our adventure guide diploma. So that's two years, um, but you already have the first year from the certificate. And then if you want to keep going, you can go into our Bachelor of Tourism Management. So do two more years and you'll have a degree. So they all do ladder into each other, um, which is really cool. You can also get some really cool hands-on learning. So keeping up with our adventure studies um, example, that's for students who love the outdoors um, and they love to adventure and they want to become an adventure guide and maybe uh, an example would be lead whitewater rafting tours or be a ski guide or um, some of our alumni actually um, created a business with zip lining. So 
it really is broad and it's for people that really love the outdoors. And like I said, you can go from a certificate to a diploma to a degree. Um, and then we also offer graduate studies at TRU, which is once you have a degree, you can go on and get a master degree. And then number eight, um, we like, like I said, we want to help everyone get to where they want to be. And so even if you can't be on campus, we have distance learning options. So if you can't be in Williams Lake or in Kamloops, we still want to help you get to where you want to be. Um, and you can start with distance learning, which is online courses. We can study anywhere, anytime. We have certificates, diplomas, degrees, and even graduate master's degrees online. Um, you can do high school upgrading online as well. So it's very, very broad. And we just we want to help you get to where you want to be, like I said. Um, we also want to make everyone feel comfortable on campus and welcome, um, which is why I'm a really big fan of TRU's diversity and equity. So we want to make sure everyone's comfortable on campus. And here's a little video showing how we do that. So like you saw in that video, we like to recognize and celebrate all of the cultures that come to our campus. And we have tons of indigenization initiatives as we are on traditional and unceded Chequemec territory. Um, we have Kaplukwetin, which is the gathering place. So our home away from home for our indigenous students. You'll see lots of indigenous artwork on our campus. We celebrate um, the culture and we also do some really cool events like um, we participate in Orange Shirt Day, but we also have a powwow on campus and um, we support the Coyote Project, which is our way of making sure that there's indigenous initiatives in all faculties on campus. And then further diversity um, events that we have we have a pride parade on campus. We have clubs. We also have a wellness center that supports everyone. And um, we do have I days. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but I days stands for international days, uh, which is a week of festivities that celebrate all of our international students' cultures. And some of our international students participate and um, show off their culture in different ways and the things they really love or miss about their home country. We like to, you know, honor all of these people that are coming from different parts of the world. And taking a bit of a turn here, <laughs> um, one thing I like to do while I'm on campus um, and while our Wolfpack teams are playing is watch our Wolfpack teams play. Um, we have 11 competitive varsity level sports teams, um, but we also have recreational teams, um, which I like to participate in, uh, such as intramural volleyball and basketball, soccer. We even have dodgeball, which is a nice throwback from high school. Um, so lots of those are offered on campus. We also have those outdoor basketball courts you might've seen in some of the pictures, which is really cool. So we have lots of fun events and intramurals. And we even have these free fitness classes for students on campus. Um, and then off campus, we have tons of lakes around Kamloops. Uh, this summer, I probably went to six different lakes within an hour of Kamloops. We also have those beautiful rivers running through Kamloops, which I mentioned. And if you like to ski or snowboard, we have Sun Peaks, which is an a world-renowned ski hill, uh, just a 45-minute drive. And then we even have some closer ones. We have Harper Mountain, which is a smaller hill, uh, really not far, maybe 20 minutes from Kamloops. 
um, and they have really good deals for night skiing for students as well. And this is getting a bit into our sports that we offer. Switching gears here a bit, one thing I'm passionate about is sustainability, um, which is why I like to include it in the presentation. I like to bike to campus and walk to campus. One thing I really like about the Kamloops campus is how walkable it is. It's right in the middle of town, so it's really not far from anything. We're a nice medium-sized city, so it's nothing's very far from our campus but we've got tons of sustainability initiatives that we host on campus as well. Um, and we are one of the first universities in Canada to be stars platinum rated. So we have really, really high quality buildings um, that are platinum rated for sustainability. We're also uh, the number three school in North America in sustainability, according to the Sierra Club's cool school list, which is pretty sweet. And we also have some really cool outside of the classroom opportunities, um, which sustainability is one of them, but I like to go into a little bit more detail with what we offer, um, such as study abroad. So these are still technically curricular, um, but we have a non-competitive study abroad program, which is really nice um, because you just have to meet a minimum GPA requirement. But aside from that, if your program allows it, any student that wants to study abroad can. It's not a competitive thing where only a certain number of students get to study abroad. Really, as long as you reach that minimum GPA requirement, anyone can study abroad. And we have partnerships with tons of universities all around the world, um, so it's really accessible. And you're also paying TRU student fees instead of um, big international student fees, which is really nice. Uh, we also offer tons of undergraduate research. Uh, I think in the last slide there, you can see this guy is flying a drone. He did uh, undergraduate research at TRU and now um, he was studying drones. And now um, he actually owns a drone company that helps to identify wildfires um, and get them put out before they cause a huge forest fire. So it's really cool. I also, my best friend, did undergraduate research at TRU, and she has gone on to become a brain surgeon. So <laughs> some really impressive stuff. Um, and it's nice that you can get into research at TRU as an undergraduate student. You don't have to wait until you're a graduate student. You can get started right away. We also offer um, lots of work experience opportunities before you graduate. Um, so things like that are apprenticeships for our trade students. So they can get into that workforce before they have their red seal. You need to get those hours anyways. Cooperative education and professional practicums. So um, some of our programs offer uh, a mandatory, they have a mandatory practicum within the program. So that's things like nursing, um, education, social work, those have practicums in them that you have to do, and that's paid work experience before you graduate. Um, but if your program doesn't have a mandatory practicum, you can participate in cooperative education. So you can do a co-op, which is um, a four-month term of paid work experience before you graduate, and you get credits towards your degree still. I myself did a 
I did three co-op work terms. So I did a year total um, of paid work experience and it has really helped me um, to get this job right out of uh, my degree. So it is a really good opportunity to graduate with some work experience. And th since they're four months, you can even just do them in the summers if you want, if you don't want to um, miss a, a semester of classes in the school year. We've also got some really cool cultural things outside of the classroom that I want to mention. Um, so our local cultural, local culture here <laughs> um, in Kamloops is very colorful. Uh, we are well known for our art um, and the artistic uh, downtown that we have, which is really cool. And I'll, I'll show you a bit about that, what I mean. to enjoy music in Kamloops. There's open mic nights, themed club nights, or big name artists. Get on the guest list early. So if you had doubt about it before, hopefully you don't now. There is lots to do in Kamloops, as you can see from that video. Um, and we even have one thing I like to mention because I think it's so cool. We have a downtown back alley art mural uh, kind of exhibit. So if you walk through any of the downtowns, uh, any of the alleys in downtown Kamloops, sorry, um, there's these huge murals on the walls of businesses on the back and they're just beautiful spray paint murals, which is really cool to check out. There's if you visit tourismkamloops.ca, um, you can even get a little self-guided tour of them, which is pretty sweet. Um, if you're into wineries, cideries, or breweries, Kamloops is also well known to have uh, some really cool ones. We've got a really cool brewery scene in town, um, and then you can also do a wine and cidery tour. Um, takes Everything's within... 20 minutes of Kamloops if you have to go a little bit outside for some of the wineries, but it's definitely worth it. So that was all the fun stuff. And now we'll briefly get into the boring stuff, um, but also some of the most important stuff. So tuition and funding. If you're looking at a degree, and this only applies to domestic students. If you're an international student, um, this is not really going to apply to you. You'll have a different fee program. So um, if you're a domestic student in your first year of, uh, say, the Bachelor of Arts, this is what your tuition and fees might look like. Um, you can see residents there. We, our options have different um, price points as well. Um, and then, of course, that food and transportation, it's really going to depend on you. But this kind of gives you an idea of what your fees might look like if you're an on-campus domestic student. Um, and to help you pay with that for that education, we offer tons of entrance scholarships that you can apply to. 
Um, so you'd apply to TRU. And then once you've applied, you can also start applying to your entrance scholarships. And that's for first years coming in. Um, but if you're a transfer student or you're continuing on for your second, third, or fourth year, we have lots of ongoing scholarships, uh, bursaries, and awards that TRU offers. But those are just the TRU ones. There's tons of external awards that you can look for um, and kind of find yourself and apply for, which I really recommend. Um, and then you can also um, go on to get government student loans, which are um, always a nice option to have if you do need that extra funding. And then, like I said, cooperative education is paid work experience, which obviously uh, helps put some money in your pocket and work study programs. So if you are um, in a financial need, uh, our work study programs on campus offer eight hours of work in a department on campus. Um, so more than 500,000 in entrance scholarships. And then for those ongoing students, um, more than one and a half million dollars that is handed out every year to students that ask for it. So make sure you apply for those scholarships because we do want to help you pay for your degree. The deadline for those entrance scholarships is March 1st. Um, and then entrance awards, which is a little bit different, is April 1st. So if I had to recommend anything, I'd just say do everything before March 1st. Then you don't have to worry about it and you don't have to know which deadline is which. Um, just try and get all of your scholarship and award um, entries in before that. So um, it's all actually done really quickly through your MyTRU account that you'll get once you apply. It's fairly easy. It's just one big form that you fill out and it automatically applies you to all of the scholarships and bursaries that you're eligible for. And finally, I want to quickly talk about the individual supports that we have to help you succeed. So although we are a mid-sized university, we have that small college feel um, and we give you all those supports um, that you need to make you feel like you're at home and that you can succeed here um, because you can. And these students are going to quickly talk about it in this video. I'm in the Bachelor of Arts program. Bachelor of Arts, I'm a double major in English and Psych. I'm a third year BBA student in Economics. The Bachelor of Fine Arts. Bachelor of Journalism, but I am doing a minor in Theater. I am in the Bachelor of Communications. Part of why I applied to True was just because it was close to home. I came on a tour when I was in grade 10. And I was really impressed by the campus and some of the facilities. True has world-class faculty and a world-class facility. We have lots of places that I can go to just hang out with my friends on campus. I know all my profs on a first-name basis. It's like, oh, I'm around. This is where your office is, and I have a question. I've had a professor nominate me for a scholarship, which was a huge support, $800 to write in the essay. Because we have small class sizes, <laughs> I feel like I get to know my peers really well. You get to know somebody that you're completely different to. There's lots of places to get food on campus as well. We go to the den a lot. I go there to study, too. Going to class is important. It's very important. Go to class, do well in class. But know that there are other things out there that will uh, enhance your university experience. They offer so many programs here. We have stuff like the Wellness Center or counseling if you need it, or the Math Help Center, or the Writing Help Center, areas like that. So if you're struggling, there are those supports. You just have to go and use them and not be intimidated to do so. Jobs and activities and things to just be around is great. And I leave happy every day here because I have such a wonderful support group. Think about that one question that's stopping you then decide which university is going to answer that question the way you want it to be answered. It's been really fun. I've been here for three years now, and I love TRU. <laughs> so some of these were mentioned in that video, but I'll do a quick overview because we're just about running out of time. Um, but we do offer support such as accessibility services for our students with exceptionalities. We have the writing center. So if you're in a writing, a course that involves any writing at all, basically, 
you can book an appointment with them and they can help you um, with brainstorming, editing your papers, uh, formatting, and making sure you're citing everything correctly, especially in your first year when it's a bit of a jump from high school writing. Uh, they're really helpful to get you into the university writing habits. Our math and economics help center is also very similar, but for math and economics, I use them a lot during my business degree. Um, academic supports. So uh, we have our advisors, we have tutors, um, and then you also have office hours with every professor that you are in a class with. They have designated office hours specifically just for helping students. So you can always find help there. Um, and then financial aid and student awards is also there if you need any help with your scholarships, bursaries, um, your payments, or even applying to government student loans. And then our personal and social supports, um, we have counseling services. So free counseling for students who want to talk to someone, sit down, um, any personal or academic issues. Our wellness center is more for like that mental health, like you can sit down, you can chill, have a cup of tea. They also have Therapy Th Dog Thursday where they bring these therapy dogs out um, for students to cuddle on campus. And of course, with our TRU uh, Student Union, you can find all of our student clubs. So there should be a club for everyone, but if there isn't a club that you want, you can always start your own club um, and get true TRU Student Union to back it. Um, you just need a couple signatures and you need to fill out a form saying what your club is for. I mentioned our Indigenous student services. We have mentorship programs, we have elders in the house, um, and we have soup circles every week. Our Indigenous students have tons of support um, and we, we want to help them utilize it and help everyone utilize these services that we offer. Um, including our multi-faith chaplaincy. So that's our on-campus chaplaincy office. They have chaplains of multiple faiths in there um, and then also prayer rooms that you can book out. And then our medical clinic, last but not least, is very important. That's our campus doctor's office. Um, and the priority goes to students. Of course, we're right here for you and we wanna help you succeed. If you want to book an appointment with us, you can at tru.ca slash future slash contact. You can book a virtual meeting with myself or one of our other recruiters. We have a fall open house series. Um, so this Saturday, tomorrow, um, we have our in-person kickoff. So we're doing campus tours. Um, but from October 26th to December 9th, we have virtual faculty presentations. So um, this was a very general presentation about TRU overall. Um, the follow-up and house series will be more specific to different programs. So you can go find your program and watch their virtual presentation, ask them specific questions as well. Um, and then, you, of course, you can just send us a question online if you want um, at forms slash info request. And if you're ready to apply, you can go uh, apply online at tu.ca slash apply. There is an application fee. Um, and you'll have to submit your transcripts as well. Um, you can get information on how to submit your transcripts at tru.ca slash transcripts. Thank you for coming. Um, and I will take some questions now and just exit out of here. All right, I'm just gonna take a quick look at the questions we have here. Um, one of them is, do you offer dual majors? Um, we do offer some dual majors. So uh, we can help you, once you've applied and submitted your transcripts and you're accepted into a program, you can meet with an academic advisor and they can help you figure out specifically um, how to get that double major um, and make sure you're taking all the appropriate classes from your first year um, or if you decide later on in your degree um, that you want to do a dual major, they'll help you um, 
get into that. <laughs> How big is Thompson Rivers University? We have 14,000 students studying on campus and another 14,000 studying just online. So we have a large um, in-person group of students and then we also have that online group of students. Um, we're a medium-sized university, but our class sizes, the average number of students in a class is actually 31 students. So we keep our class sizes very small um, so that you get to know your professors. Um, what's the fees for a bachelor in a uh, biology major? I don't know off the top of my head. Um, that slide that I showed that had um, the fees on it, that showed um, a Bachelor of Arts first year, but a Bachelor of Science in Biology would be similar. If you want to look at your specific fee structure, you can go to tru.ca slash cost estimator, and it can estimate the cost of your specific program. Just reading through the comments here. Some of them are super specific. Um, so if it's really specific um, about transferring from a specific country or something, uh, I'll let you contact our international admissions department. So if you're an international student looking to come to campus in Kamloops, um, you'll have to contact our international admissions department and they can answer those specific questions for you. Um, so welcome at tru.ca is the email you can use. Um, so again, that's welcome at tru.ca for international inquiries. Thank you for putting that in the chat. <laughs> How many programs would you say TRU offers? Um, we offer more than 140 programs. So we've got tons of programs. If you go to tru.ca slash programs, um, you can check out all the programs that we offer. At, we have more than I can mention here. Uh, this person, Cameron, has an interest in engineering. Does TRU offer many engineering courses? So we offer a full Bachelor of uh, Software Engineering. So you can do that full software engineering program at TRU. But we also offer a transfer program. Um, so you can do your first year of all engineering disciplines at TRU and then transfer to a different university. We have transfer agreements with UVic and UBC. So in Victoria and Vancouver, or the uh, UBC Okanagan campus in Kelowna. So you can do your first year of engineering um, and some disciplines like electrical engineering, you can do your second year at TRU as well. So we do have a transfer agreement for engineering and then a full bachelor of software engineering. Just gonna quickly take a look at, see if there's any more kind of general questions I can answer for everyone. Yeah, so if you're asking um, about really specific programs, I encourage you to check out our website and look at the programs that we offer there. Um, and if you're an international student who has a question um, about transferring from their country to Canada, you can Again, reach out to our international admissions department at welcome at tru.ca, which is in the chat. Um, I, I think that is all for now. Thank you all for joining me. And I really appreciate it. <laughs>